energetic building here tonight as Vegas once again plays to a capacity crowd, try to bounce back from a 2-1 loss to the Chicago Blackhawks and Mark andre Fleury on the weekend. And, Ray, when you talk about the Leafs getting supplementary scoring, Ilya McKayev's only played four games so far this year. He's got three goals. Really has added a, a blast to energy and speed. Of course, he's got good size, and into the Leaf lineup he goes. And while maybe the initial plan at the start of the year was to play him on a third line with with David Camp, maybe there's a different role ahead of Ilya Mikheyev. But to get him back in the lineup's a nice boost for the Leafs. I mean, nobody knows what your lineup is day to day, but they've got him back, and it's a nice addition. Vegas got hit with COVID earlier today. Three players put on the COVID list, so three added. Daniel Miramanov, Jonas Ronberg, and Jake LeCision all called up and put in the lineup today. Alex Petrangelo, the pass, it goes off a skate, batted in by Mark Stone. And here is Austin Matthews playing it back across to Justin Hall. Chandler Stevenson on the four check, and Jake Muzzin plays it around. Matthews, seven goals and six career games against Vegas, drops it off for Michael Bunting, and that rolls wide of the Vegas goal. Matthews back on it to the point he goes, and T.J. Brody shoots it off a stick, up and out of play. These key parts of the game are presented by Napa Auto Parts. The Leafs head out to Vegas, and they're, they're going to want to be responsible while playing their style. They're a good rush team, but you don't want to make the game so free flow that you make it easy for Vegas. For Vegas, they want, they're aggressive. They're a physical team. They're one of the best in the league off the rush, but they don't have the same lineup. They've got to be mindful of how they play given the absences from their lineup. William Mee landed for the faceoff, but it's controlled by William Carlson and played back down to the Toronto zone. Icing called against the Vegas Golden Knights, who have not allowed a first period goal in their last five games. And on the other side, the Leafs in their last 10 have outscored teams 20 to 10 in the first period. So I, I would say given healthy lineups, this would be one of the highlight games of the season. But you look at the the Golden Knights, and of course Jack Eichel skated today for the first time, but no Max Pacioretty, Shea Theodore, Alec Martinez. It's a completely different Vegas lineup, but of course Mitch Marner in, in particular out for the Leafs. TJ Brody, a long shot that is stopped by Robin Leonard. Vegas was the number one defensive team in the NHL last year. This year, they've fallen to 18th in goals against. Sheldon Keefe's Leafs are second in the league in goals against per game. And then you add it to a team that scored three goals or more in 14 straight. And it's pretty easy to see, while although it's been long spread out, that this team has put points on the board almost night after night. Morgan Riley back across to Brody. G.G. Brody for Kerfoot. That's chopped in by Nealon. William Nylander try to hunt it down. It's knocked away by Dylan Coughlin. Now brought back by Riley Smith. A Toronto native works in. Check check there by Brody. Smith still after it. And the bouncing puck goes to Kerfoot. Cross he goes to Nylander. Knocked down by Riley. Ahead for Nylander on the break. Go Nylander and scores! William Nylander with a great move on Leonard. And the Leafs have grabbed an early 1-0 lead. Well, I just mentioned about being mindful of your lineup for if you're Vegas. They're not, and the Leafs take advantage. Dylan Coughlin's a defenseman. He's down in the slot. There's nobody really backing him up as the puck bounces past William, Carl William Carlson. Morgan Riley sees this lane and darts a pass into William Nylander, who's back behind the Vegas defenseman, Braden McNabb, and it's 1-0 Toronto on a beautiful feed from Riley to Nylander. This is a brilliant pass. William Nylander now with his 16th goal of the year. He's got nine, Ray, in his last 13 games. What a start for Toronto here. Out of the blocks, a quick turnover, and a transition goal. There is Camp with a chance and a pad saved by Leonard. Who's puck in front? Robin Leonard grabs that, and Vegas, which has not allowed a first period goal in the last five, gives up one here and almost another. A sloppy play leads to the one nothing goal against for Vegas. Here they get caught watching the puck as you see that passing lane goes straight across to camp. Miramanov, the young Russian defenseman, just recalled playing his third na or fourth National Hockey League game, leaves that seam wide open and camp is robbed by Robin Leonard. By Robin Leonard. Early pressure by the Leafs, who are 5 and 2 all time against Vegas. This is their first trip to Vegas since November of 2019. Spezza plays it around. 
And gathered up by Braden McNabb. He gets crunched Rocks along the boards by, by Nick Ritchie. Ritchie scored against Colorado on Saturday. And Jake Lecision moves up, son of longtime NHL Curtis Lecision. Jake Lecision was a second round pick of Vegas in their first NHL draft in 2017. The three players drafted ahead of him in the first round by Vegas have all been traded. Well, there has been no let's look to the future since Vegas put their stake in the ground. Right away, it was those three first round picks were going to go for something immediate. Andre Kasha moves in. He gets poked. Check the Dama tries to work away now for Vegas. In comes a big Dama. The centering pass for Stone. Plays it back. It'll backhand shot by Petrangelo. Goes wide. No offensive zone turnover at the blue line by Kasha leads to a dangerous chance. And Alex Petrangelo back with it. You talk about the trades. Also the free agent signing of Petrangelo. They grab him on a seven-year deal. $8.8 million a year. Vegas has not been shy to go for it. Now Bunting with a shot that goes off a leg and wide. Yeah, but somehow that math is not going to work out right now. In comes Matthews with a shot, goes off a leg. That was blocked by Zach Whitecloud. Plays it back. Muzzin a shot. That goes wide. Marcheseau bats it back past Matthews and down the ice. And Jake Muzzin tried to milk it in an icing. Didn't work. Muzzin up for Tavares. And John Tavares chops that ahead. Nylander falls and picked up by Marcheseau. Slides into Carlson, in, shoots, he rattled that high and wide. And the puck bounced off the glass into the meshing, and play is called. Well, Nylander toe picks there and falls down. He does it on the receiving end of this gorgeous feed from Riley, who jumps into the play, and he sees a small seam underneath the stick of Jonathan Marcheseau, and he hits Nylander in full flight. What great patience by Nylander to hold this just around the left toe of Leonard in a 1-0 lead, but a fabulous pass from Morgan Riley, his 25th assist of the season. That's now 11 points for him in his last eight games. And the face off in the Toronto zone, Carlson gets tossed out against Cam, so Marcheseau will take it. It's so hard to even remember who's hot, who's not. The right. games, have, you know, it's, it's not even almost like a league sometimes. It's just like a bunch of games that are played one after another. And you look at a player that's hot, and you're like, man, that could be over the last month, and it's eight games. Well, you also look at teams that suffer one-sided losses, Ray. You have to look at their lineup, who they had that, that particular night. You were in Philly the other night. I mean, oh, half, half their lineup was out. Well, and not only half their lineup, it was mostly the top end of their lineup. Giroux, Couturier, Konechny, Ryan Ellis, Provorov, Travis Sanheim. Like, how are you going to compete? And they were against the Pittsburgh team that was winning 10 games in a row at the time. Here comes Nylander again. That's knocked away by Howden. But Howden works that ahead. And at least Peck knocked down the corner. Penalty coming out of Vegas. And it's going to go against Howden as he took down Travis Dermott and Toronto riding a hot power play streak will get the game's first bad advantage. Not a strong point Vegas, for Vegas either. 21, minor penalty for holding. 24th ranked in the league, penalty killing. They've given up 23 power play goals. There's a left-handed grab of Howden on Travis Dermott. And if your penalty killing isn't great you have to hope that at least your power play can wash it out for vegas it's it's just an average power play and a poor penalty killing special teams are not their friend leafs have scored power play goals in nine straight games the last time they had a 10 game power play goal streak was 14 years ago the 0708 season and here comes matthews the leaf leader with eight power play goals on the year McNabb tries to play it around. Matthews sealed the wall. Petrangelo back the other way. Alex Petrangelo had that taken away by Tavares. Stevenson to the line, but not out. Knocked down by Nylander. In comes William Nylander. Drop back, and now Riley back to pick it up. Riley up ahead to Matthews and back for Nylander. He's got five power play goals of his own this year. As does Tavares, who swings it back. And Matthews with a head of steam. In comes Austin Matthews. Lines across the line for Nylander. Brings that around. Carlson racing to it at the line. It's held. He's off the next game. Spetsa. Nylander drops it back. And a quick chance. Tavares took that wide. Now Spetsa trying to dig it free. Tavares down there as well. Puck loose at the side of the goal. Picked up by Riley Smith. And Smith will bank it down the ice. Inside a minute to go in the Toronto power play.
Rasmus Sandin. Drops that back for Spezza. In comes Jason Spezza rolling. Puck bounces back in front. McCann put that just wide. Carlson to Ronnie Smith. That's poked ahead by Bunting. The loose puck just out of the reach of Spezza. Now Spezza back with it. Around to Ritchie. Bunting reaching for it. Ritchie plays it back in. Out of the reach of Spezza. And now Petrangelo high off the glass and back down to the Toronto zone. Richie drops it off for Bunting. Finds McKay who fans of the first pass. Now plays it back and a long shot by Sandin was blocked. Picked up by Colasar. Picked up with in comes Hutton with it. Ben Hutton shoots from a sharp angle. Campbell makes the stop and is able to hang on. one nothing. the Leafs lead on the goal by William Nylander, his 16th of the year on Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN. Tomorrow, as the Leafs face off against the Arizona Coyotes, coverage starts at 9.30 Eastern on TSN 4 in the Leafs region and on TSN Radio 10.50. The Coyotes have COVID issues of their own. Well, I mean, every day is a, is a bingo card who's available. You go in and you've got this lineup on the board and the coaches all wait for the daily testing and find out who's available. You know, Vegas found out this morning with their testing. Oh, yeah, by the way, three more guys are gone for the next little while. And for Austin Matthews, of course, that's a homecoming tomorrow night. His home of Greater Phoenix area. Yeah, it's got to be fun. He gets to go back, play in front of some friends and your family. They don't have to travel to see you play. And Off the draw, the puck control by Vegas. Stone slides out of hitter Stevenson. Back at the point, the Hutton, a long shot. Hit a leg in front. Scooped up by Kerfoot. Get a bump by Dodonov, who worked it free. Dodonov centers it out of the reach of Stone. And here's Simmons back with it. Man, Mark Stone has been deflecting passes from the second he came into the NHL. Just, just standing there. There's two in about five seconds. I don't know how he can be so good at it. According to his dad, he grew up playing road hockey with a tennis ball on a gravel road. Yeah, but somebody else had to be shooting it because he kept intercepting it. Like, it's it's really quite remarkable. His positioning is is exemplary to be in, in the right spot to do that. In comes Bunting. Michael Bunting with a chance. Knocked away by Petrangelo. Rebound. And Bunting turned away by Leonard. Marcia so Ahead for Smith. Riley Smith moving in. Poke check there by Brody. Reaching forward is Kasha. And now Petrangelo back at the point. In comes Matthews now. In shoots. Rip that short side. And the puck goes up and out of play. Like the first goal, Vegas is beaten in the neutral zone on a 50-50 puck. Carlson got beat on the first goal. He actually gets beat here on this chance as Matthews has got enough time to zing this off the left goal post as he skates away from Carlson. Man, what a shot. Release beats Robin Leonard clean. And Matthews' bid for his 23rd of the year hits iron. And now pokes out ahead for Kolasar. Puck back across for Matthias Janmark. He gets tied up by Dermott. Sandine to Nylander. And back to center ice. Knocked down by Kerfoot. He's tied up by McNabb. The puck comes loose to Kerfoot. And slides it back in the corner looking for Tavares. He gets spun around. Kolasar back with it. Chris crossing there with Dylan Coglin. Egan Kolasar, a Brandon Manitoba native. There are four players in this Vegas roster who played for Brandon who are from there. And the Golden Knights GM, Kelly McCrimmon, has a long history in Brandon, longtime president and GM of the Brandon Wheat Kings of the Western Hockey League. And owner. And owner, yes. Spezza works his way and shoots. It goes off his stick of McNabb and wide. Poked ahead by Romberg. Now Spezza winds in. Spezza holds. Keeps it back and for Clifford. That's chipped it wide. Clifford back with it. Let her down. And now Richie digs it free. Richie banks it back. Hard shot there by Paul. That deflects wide. Spezza back with it. Jason Spezza centers it. And Clifford couldn't quite reach it. Knocked down. 
by Michael Amadio, the former Leaf. And is played ahead by Jake Bazinger. Jake's dad, Curtis, played over a thousand games in the NHL. That's moved ahead now to camp and knocked off the puck by Hutt. Lead pass for Dodonov. Moves around McKayev, but now McKayev with it. Plays it back to Riley. Lead pass now for Camp, a bouncing puck, and that's bottled up by Daniel Miramanov. He was signed out of the East Coast League by the Vegas Golden Knights. He was playing in Manchester in that league. After three years in the Quebec Major Junior League. 24 years old. He's played for seven teams in his last, seven leagues in his last six years. A hard point shot by White Cloud. That was blocked. And Brody plays it back out. Zach Whitecloud, another Brandon Manitoba native. Great glows every time we mention Brandon. Former yeah. King yourself. One year turned out to be the best year of my career. It was, it was a little colder than I was used to, but man, it was a, it was a terrific year. Now a chance now for Kasha busting in. He's knocked off Dryden, a penalty coming out of Vegas. Kasha taken down with the hook, and Toronto goes back to the power play. At Harvey's, when you want two burgers... Have ...their second power play of this first period as Zach Whitecloud goes to the penalty box. Another turnover in the middle of the ice for Vegas opens up this chance as Kasha was sent in by Bunting. As Vegas continually shortens the ice for Toronto to attack, a pretty sloppy start for the Golden Knights. The Leafs have looked pretty sharp here and have the one nothing lead on the Nylander goal and now their second power play of this first period. Cars with a face off, wins it back to Matthews. Vegas to to Riley to Nylander. Uh, William Wilson. Nylander. Swings it back for Riley. Morgan Riley across White the top along the wrist shot. Back to Flex Wide. Here's Matthews back with it. Down to Kasha. Kasha missed the last couple of games for Toronto. Had that knocked away. And now Riley goes back, being harassed there by Riley Smith. Nylander back for Morgan Riley. Shots 5 to 2 in favor of Toronto. And now Matthews with it. Rossi goes to Kasha, to Neeland. Back for Kasha. Tied up there by Petrangelo. Carlson trying to clear it out. Tavares stepped into him. And now Petrangelo puts it high in the air and back down to the leaf zone. Rasmus Sandin. Wanting through center ice. Drops that back to Matthews. Matthews bobbling it for a moment. Hope the Knights have it back and Hutton flips it back down to the leaf zone. Lots of Leaf fans in evidence in Vegas. As the Cave moves in, rolls back towards the goal. Let her steer that away. And now Petrangle once again banks it back down the ice. An emotional few days. For Vegas last week, they had Gerard Gallant, their former coach, and Ryan Reeves come back. Then the weekend, of course, the return of Mark Andre Fleury, who backstopped Chicago to a 2 1 win over Vegas. Spezza leads that back across to Mikhaya. Leads that back to Bunting. Michael Bunting works in, plays it back. Spezza, little half slapper, put that wide. Sandine back with it. Back around, Spezza knocks it down. For Bunting. Bunting shoots. Gets a leg in front. Still loose. And Spezza picks it back up. But a penalty coming to Toronto. And that'll come with one second to go in the Leaf power play. Pretty ineffective Leaf power play. Countered with some nice shot blocks and good positioning by the Vegas Toronto Golden Knights on the penalty kill. Two games in a row, Nick Ritchie ends up in the penalty box. This time after the shot block by Braden McNabb, Ritchie reaches out and gets his stick through the hands of McNabb here. The hooking call is made, and we'll have a few seconds of four-on-four four before Vegas will get their first power play of this hockey game. Vegas still without the likes of Max Pacioretty, who's out with wrist surgery. Vegas had 10 players out, and their American League team in Henderson had 14 players out. Not COVID, just injuries. That means your Golden Knights.
are on the NB Energy Power Play. Some things down to the power play. Golden Knights are ranked 18th in the league on the man advantage. Their leading power play goal scorer has three. Stevenson. And you can see later in the year, though, where this power play is going to change. Whoa. And right like that, Keegan Kolasar on the feed ties the game on the power play. A broken play from behind the net pops out to Kolasar, and Kolasar standing there and swats it by Jack Campbell before he's able to react. Stevenson carries the puck into the zone, and this puck actually bounces off the foot of Kerfoot as the Donoff is passing this puck onto the side to Mark Stone. It hits Kerfoot. Thank you very much. Kolasar standing there. It bounces off a of Campbell as well. And after two penalty kills, the Vegas power play is on the board, and it's 1-1. So the hooking call to Nick Ritchie cost the Leafs as Kolasar... Picks up his third goal of the year. He came in with one goal in his last 20 games. He mentioned some significant firepower out of the Vegas lineup. Yeah, I was just mentioning how their power play is going to be better. They're one for one tonight. Here's Matthews with it now. Austin Matthews fires that in the corner. Picked up by McNabb. But the one thing that they're missing is this dangerous shooter right from the point. And, well, you'll have Petrangelo there once Jack Eichel and Max Pacioretty show up back in the power play. You've got danger shots from both sides of the ice. You might have to do some mind-bending math to get all those guys back in the lineup, mind you, but as Matthews winds in, Matthews with a chance, but that just wide as Leonard got a piece of that. Now Bunting trying to center it, bounced off the back of the net. Here's White Cloud with it. What a great move by Matthews as he takes the puck and attacks the triangle of Zach White Cloud and you just can't catch up to it. Matthews ends up missing the net to the far side as we get a look at Keegan Kolasar. Stevenson's going to run this puck in deep into the zone, and the Leafs are in good position here, but there's, again, Muzzin and Hall are back behind the goal line. There's no need for both of them to be back there. Hall is in position. Muzzin can hold that post, and even if that puck bounces funny off of the, off of the foot of Kerfoot, Muzzin's in front of the net. However, they're both behind the net to start that play, and then they have to pick it out from back behind Jack Campbell. Here's Nylander right now, Wolf is scoring for Toronto. William Nylander. Toronto, by the way, gets the first goal of the game for the fifth consecutive game. Scoring for your Golden Knights in NBA. Now here's Dermott for the point, shoots, and Leonard kicked that out. Sandine back with it. Rasmus Sandine fires, it's blocked in front by McNabb. They'll chip it back down to the Toronto zone as Dermott goes back. My playing days may be over, but doesn't mean I'm retired. Now I watch sports full time, because in retirement, there are no off days. Every game starts at bet99.net. Polisar, another Brandon native, plays for Vegas. You should mention Darren Drager got his start there as well. He'd be remiss if not. Oh, don't worry, Drake. we'll have that in the intermission for sure. There's no question about that. it for the face off and wins it back Kasha to Roddy he's it back across the bunting he's taken down and move back out of the leaf zone as Brody goes back to pick it up TJ Brody swings it up ahead for bunting and bunting got tied up by stone another steal for stone who goes rink wide knocked down by Dodonov looks for Stevenson that's batted down by bunting Stone gathers it back up. Played in by Petrangelo. Well, almost certainly would have been a foundational player for the Canadian Olympic team and NHL players gone. Riley plays it back in. Knocked down by Hunt. And he goes for Stevenson and drops it back to Stone. Mark Stone plays that back in. Knocked down by Muzzin. Justin Hall. Threads that pass ahead for Camp. In comes Camp with a backhand pass hit wide by Hutt. Also had a brief stint with the Leafs. As Muzzin flips it back down to the Vegas zone. Four and a half to go here in the opening period. A 1-1 tie. Toronto won the first game of the year. Four to nothing. Back on November the 2nd. Matthews scored a couple of goals in that game. 
Here's McCabe with it. Now Simmons kicks at it. And flipped back out by Stone. All across to Muzzin. Back to Hall. That misfired. Knocked down by Jack Campbell. He's coming off his busiest night as a Maple Leaf. 49 shots against Colorado, the most he's faced as a Leaf netminder. And that puck goes off the stick of Clifford. Into the crowd, now to play. 3.55 to go here in the first. It's a 1 1 tie of Molson Canadian Leafs hockey on TSN. Is we'll ask the boys with rumors of Van Vander Kane going to Edmonton if they'd have any reservations about signing the controversial forward. Lots to talk about that around the National Hockey League as you see Andre Kasha, who's returned to the Toronto lineup after missing the last couple of games and in his last six, he scored three goals. Real, it's been a really nice signing for the Leafs. I mean, you, you know, he had the 20 goal year in, in Anaheim and then was unfortunately waylaid with concussion issues, among others. And it's taken him a long time to get back to being healthy enough to play on a night after night basis. And he's been really consistent. Jason Spezza calls him a buzzsaw. Those guys are fun to play with. They've got skill, but they go get it when they don't have it. Now kicked up by Clifford. He lost the puck to Hutton. And Ben Hutton brings it back out. Playing for his fifth team in the last four years. Hutton flips it down. And Dermott back with it. And Vegas has to have a lot of guys like this to make under a million dollars to make all the guys at the top fit. Back at the point. Conklin a shot kicked away by Campbell. That goes off the glass and out of play. It's a good shot by Coughlin as he tests Jack Campbell. A puck turned over just inside the blue line and Coughlin walks into it. He's got four career goals. He had three in his first game or his, in his first game in Minnesota last March. Nice way to start. You, yeah, what an easy league. I got three. Well, now he's got four. It's a hard league. <laughs> you see Jack Campbell, his 27th start tonight is a new career high for him. His march is off from a sharp angle, and Campbell stops that. But but it seems different, doesn't it, Gord, with the different breaks? I mean, it seemed like he was playing a lot in the November and early December, and then Everything's just flattened out. It's like he's had a chance to recharge and any work he's had to do physically, he's had time to do it. That will change, of course, during the what was going to be the Olympic break. Teams started receiving their provisional schedules today with the postponed games added in. So in the Maple Leafs case, eight games on their schedule have been postponed thus far. The Leafs have played more games than anyone in the league and they're giving its Calgary is postponed in mid-December. And that may, may be a little bit of a blessing for them, even with this eight postponed bids. They already had a bunch of games in the bank. Kerfoot drops it off to Riley, flips that down, and Leonard kicks that away. Nylander back at the point for Brody. He had to retreat to center ice, and he's flipped back down to the Vegas zone. McNabb. Looks ahead for Howden. He's tied up. And a long shoot in, knocked down by Campbell. Muzzin back up the center ice. White Cloud lost the back pass and drops it back to Matthews with a shot, and Leonard makes a sharp stop on Austin Matthews. And Vegas coach Pete DeBoer is going to shake his head behind the bench. This is at least four times where Vegas has handed the puck to Toronto. One led to the first goal by Nylander. Here's a turnover again. White Cloud's had a tough first period as he and Petrangelo turn this over. Kasha finds Matthews walking in late, and Leonard, who plays deep, He's a giant of a man at six foot five. Makes a good glove stop on Austin Matthews' rip. That's his second great chance in this first period. Matthews wins the draw back, but it's picked off and moved out by Stone. Stolen back by Kasha. And the bouncing puck finally retrieved by Stevenson. Andrew Stevenson. Back for White Cloud. Now Stone moves out ahead, Stevenson on the way by Hall, gets it back, Campbell down, and Stevenson holds the puck. Drops it back to White Cloud. 145 to go in the opening period, Stone on it. Now Stevenson bats it around. Back on it is Stone. Pass out of the reach of Dodonov. And Bunting slides it in for Kasha. Back down to the Vegas zone. And Petrangelo swings back to pick it up. Long lead pass, bounces right to Howden moving in. A centering pass in behind Kolasar. 
That's knocked away by Sandine. Camp. Up for Simmons. Now Simmons a long shot. Leonard handles that easily. Kolasov. Tied up there by Camp, who seals the wall. Now move back to center. And the credit one. One That's to go in the period. So final minute now, the opening period. Hot. Off to center, knocked down by Yanmark. Finds Kolasar. Kolasar goes rink wide. Bounces off the stick of Coughlin. Back through the middle comes Mikaya. His pass is knocked down. And played back in by Coughlin. Sandine. Throws it back across for Dermott. And Rasmus Sandine. Played for Nylander and back to pick it up is Petrangelo. In the corner is McNabb. And McNabb flips it back. Taken back by Brody. Final seconds now, the opening period. And that puck goes off the stick of Kerfoot into the Toronto bench. Vegas should feel a little bit fortunate here to be in the position they are given the chances they've given up. They got a, a nice bounce off Alex Kerfoot's foot for the Kolasar power play goal. And for Pete DeBoer, it's just grind and grind and grind. You don't have your lineup that you might normally have. And you're like, okay, it wasn't a great period, but we can be better managing the puck. But we're tied at one here as they go and close this out after 20. I think Toronto played a good first period. So Nylander opens the scoring for Toronto. Kolasar answers on the power play for Vegas. 1-1 the score after 20 minutes of play. Time now for our first intermission. William Nylander is 16th of the year. He's now got nine in his last 13 games. But Keegan Kolasar with his third of the year on the power play ties it up at one. The shots were 9-6 to six Toronto in that opening period. Gord Miller back with Ray Ferraro. So the score's 1-1. The shots weren't that one-sided, but the period really was. The period was almost all in the Vegas end, actually to the point where Toronto spent almost 10 minutes in the offensive zone, which is a crazy amount of time. But most of this was fed with Vegas's inability to control and manage the puck. Now, this doesn't count as a shot on goal, the Matthews goalpost, but time and again, in the middle of the ice, the back pressure by the Leafs forced turnovers that created offensive chances, and the Leafs had short ice to create. Now, you give Austin Matthews chance after chance like this, eventually, it's going to end up in the, in the net for you. Here's the goal, which was poorly played as Coughlin was in deep, not covered up well by Carlson at the blue line in that little transitional play. Riley to Nylander gave the Leafs a 1-0 lead. And so we're going to start to start the second period. Five on five. Austin Matthews loves it in the desert. Plays well in Vegas and then goes home to Scottsdale, Arizona. The game will be in Glendale, but his family lives across town in Scottsdale for the game against Arizona tomorrow night. Where the Coyotes will play beyond that is an open question. Now a centering pass is knocked down and a quick chance there for Stone turned away. Back at the point is Petrangelo. Top 10 in minutes played per game for Vegas. And now Muzzin has it back. Andre Cash with it back for Jake Muzzin. We understand we had some technical issues in the first period. We apologize for those. We are improvising like many as Kasha moves in he's stopped by Leonard again a neutral zone sloppy bit of play by Vegas forces Robin Lender Leonard into a save as the Leafs quick up the puck and Kasha is going to find that little seam on the offside the Donoff doesn't do anything to prevent Kasha's lane to the net if he's on the inside of Kasha there's nowhere for Kasha to go but he's outside of him that opens up that lane Kasha takes the Matthews pass and gets a dangerous chance Tavares wins the face off to Nylander the face offs also very one sided in Toronto's favor in that opening period it leaves one 62 percent of the draws and I think if we're going to look out into the way the game is going to end up being played the the Leafs have a decided advantage in the face-off circle Vegas one of the league's worst face-off teams they win another one Nylander gets a shot away John Tavares about 74 percent the last five games these are number one as you mentioned Ray in the league in face-offs Vegas is 29 it's not everything but every once in a while it's something well 
it isn't everything. However, when you lose them time and again in your defensive zone, which if you don't have anybody at 50%, you are. Vegas only has Brett Howden at over 50%. And eventually, you're going to give up scoring chances. They gave up two on that last little sequence. Here comes Nylander again. In across the line, Nylander plays it across for Riley. Morgan Riley bunts that across to Kerfoot. Knocked down and played ahead by Kolasar. No rolling puck for Carlson. Trying to flip that back. And now a bouncing puck. Campbell knocked that away as Marsh has almost tapped it home. Now Petrangelo back down to Carlson. Shoots. That's blocked. Campbell retrieves his goal stick. Hutton back across. Petrangelo shoots. And Campbell knocks that away. Still hasn't retrieved his stick. Here's Petrangelo. Still no stick for Jack Campbell. Hutton lines that back across. Knocked down by Howden coming off the bench. And now Campbell's retrieved his goal stick as Petrangelo jumps up. Marcheseau leaves it there. Picked up by Hutton. Slides it back to Howden. Now Hutton back across. Petrangelo tees it up and shoots. That's tipped wide by Kolasar. Petrangelo back around. Kolasar. In the corner for Yanmark. Back for Petrangelo. Marathon shift for Alex Petrangelo. Hutton back to Houghton. Petrangelo feeds it back in. Yanmark walks right in. That pass blocked by Riley. Now Yanmark centers it. Still bouncing. Campbell knocks it down. Leaves it there for Riley. And finally in desperation, the Leafs shoot it down. You say a marathon shift for Petrangelo, but when you're in the offensive zone, it doesn't ever feel as much work as it is for William Nylander, who's been out there forever for Toronto. Good chance here is Marcheseau tries to snipe this off the short side as Carlson stays with the puck. Oh, what a save by Jack Campbell on the blocker. Marcheseau tried to bang the rebound off him as Campbell was lying down. He lost his stick, and Petrangelo tries top shelf, and Campbell stays up on his feet and blockers it to the corner. Here's Petrangelo back out there, shoots. That's knocked away by Campbell. Apparently that shift wasn't long enough. Yeah, the icing call prevents him from getting off, and now tur turnover. And a chance for Dodonov working in. Got to stick with the last minute. Now drops it back. Petrangelo, a hard shot. And back is the dawn off with it. And now bounce back high in the air. You can see why Toronto couldn't change after the icing, but Vegas decided to leave Petrangelo out there, and they might again after this icing call. Well, David Kampf is getting a, a load of Morgan Riley and John Tavares and William Nylander. Tavares turns this over as that lengthy shift continues. Riley's able to do enough to deny the Don off the, the shot on Jack Campbell, and then Campbell has to make a really sharp save here as the Don off puts it on the tee for Petrangelo. They finally take him off as Carlson comes up with a faceoff against Tavares, still out there with Nylander. Riley Smith back for Marshall, so a long shot. Carlson gets a stick on that, and now mercifully the Leafs can change after that marathon journey around the ice. And David Camp went back and tapped Campbell on the pads as much for a nice save as to say thank you. We can get off the ice here. Tavares crawls over the board. Man, they've been out there forever. And now you've got to hope for a break as you've buried two lines there as Camp and Tavares, two different centers, of course, on different lines. Off the draw, the faceoff won by Matthews, knocked down at center ice. Played back in by White Cloud. Morgan Riley was 249 on that last shift. Uncle, get me off the ice. Here comes Matthews working in on Petrangelo. Wheels it back around for Kasha. Andre Kasha back down to Matthews. Pokes it back around, picked up by Dermott. That's knocked down by Petrangelo. King City, Ontario native, turned it over. Here's Kasha with it now. Kasha in, shoots off a leg and wide. Now pat it up. By Amadio. And Jake Lecision bats it down. Lecision scored his first NHL goal back in November against Vancouver when he was pressed into duty. Now the fourth line. Wheels back in. That quick shot taken there by Ronberg. And Jonas Ronberg turned away by Campbell. Muzzin back out to center. Chopped at by Bunting and brought in by Spezza. Jason Spezza. 
Rings around to Clifford. Richie battles for it. And the puck loose along the boards. Muzzin batted at it. Picked up by McNabb. Now McNabb back to center ice. Poked ahead by Yanmark. Howden had it stripped away as Spezza stapled him into the sideboards. And McNabb has it back. Jack Campbell back around to Brody. Now the bouncing puck at center ice. Clifford got run over by Kolasar. And Kolasar, the biggest goal scorer, pokes out ahead for Howden. Bouncing puck in the leaf zone. Brody looks after Clifford. And Clifford finally plays it. And as he does, he clipped McNabb with that stick on the follow-through of his shot. Which is not high sticking, by the way. Doesn't make it hurt less. Now that shooting went off a stanchion that was bouncing right to Riley Smith. The play is called at the leaf line. Gord, there's a million little decisions that happen in a game that mean something that you don't really see too much of. Here's a Ronberg shot. Look on the other side. Alex Petrangelo is going to come into the play, and he, you see him turned back that he's gone away from the net. Had he taken two more strides, that rebound was on his tape, but he read the play that it was deep enough for him and he should turn back. That puck was sitting there as a freebie for him. Coughlin plays it back in now for Vegas. Golden Knights wrapping up a six-game homestand here. Marshall Sower shot, rebound, loose in front. Campbell swatted that away as well. Carlson has it knocked away. Vegas 2-2-1 two, two and one so far on this homestand. Golden Knights in first place in the Pacific Division despite all the injuries. As that long shot by McNabb is knocked away. Now, hard shot taken there by Coughlin. Campbell steers that away. Spinning and shooting as Marsh is always lifted that wide. Coglin back in for Carlson. Here's Camp with it now. Pass ahead for Simmons is knocked away. And Coglin has it back. He found that pass, but it's picked up by Hutt. Toronto's got to find their legs again here. This has been Jack Campbell for the first six and a half minutes of this period. Bouncing puck at center ice goes to Petrangelo. The right-hand shot, who frequently plays the left side for Vegas. And now Sandine winds in. Drops for Matthews. Now Sandine. And Petrangelo. Banks it ahead for Stone. Stone for Dodano. Dodano a silly pass for Stone. Jam plays side of that. Stone tries a sharp angle shot. Campbell steers that away. Back at the point is Petrangelo. Down to Stone. Matthews shields off Stone, but it's picked up by Stevenson. He finds the Dono. And now Bunting bats it ahead. The puck in the feet of Matthews trying to gather it back up. Petrangelo. Up ahead for Stone. And the Dono with it. Poked at by Muzzin. And Tavares has it back. Seven and a half gone here in the second period. Still a 1-1 tie. Pass back for Muzzin brings it in. Delayed offside indicated as Petrangelo picks it up. Great pass by Petrangelo for Howden. Takes the return pass and shoots. Tipped in front by Yanmar. Campbell makes the save. The puck stuck under his pad. And the Leafs clear it out. And that'll be a delay of game penalty against Toronto. Pressure from Vegas. And the goal of the Knights will go to the power play on Molson. Canadian Leafs hockey on TSN. After giving up 10 straight shots to Vegas, back on their heels, Jake Muzzin takes a delay a game penalty as this play is stuck in the crease here. Campbell could have knocked that in about three different ways. Kerfoot is able to poke it out, and as Muzzin just wants to get rid of it, he airmails it into the crowd. And so Vegas, a power play goal, goal earlier by Keegan Kolasar, gets their second power play of the game. That was the second unit that scored. Stevenson for the faceoff now against Kemp. Now Kemp gets tossed, so Kasha will take the draw. And now Stevenson gets tossed. Right about here, the guys are saying, just drop the puck. However, the linesman should have thrown both of those guys out. Stone wins the face off. Back at the point for Petrangelo. Here's the Dono. 
Back at the point for Trangelo. Feeds across for Stevenson. Chandler Stevenson. Brings it around for Stone. Stone for Dodonoff, centers it. And Okolasar gets tied up there by Brody. Tries to center it, bounces back to Stevenson. Chandler Stevenson. Back down for Kolasar, that pass is blocked by Brody. And now Robbie banks it back down the ice. Here's Petrangelo back with it. Rink wide pass for Kolasar. He's tied up by Mikheyev, and now Petrangelo has to retreat. With all due respect to Keegan Kolasar, he's not the guy that should be getting the puck at the blue line. When the Leafs make that pass, that's William Nylander there. That's a really tough spot to put Kolasar in. Now winding in is Ronnie Smith. That's broken up and brought up by Kerfoot, along with Mikheyev. And now Kerfoot swings back and drops it back for Hall. Dermott. Up into Mikheyev working in. And Mikheyev shorthanded. Spins back. He falls. Might have had some help from Carlson there. Now back at center right. The pass picked off and sent back in by Dermott. You might go through a few guesses before you keep up with Chandler Stevenson as Vegas' leading point getter this year. Well, they talk in Vegas about how good he is, that the sky's the limit with his speed and skill. A centering pass for Riley just missed. But you're not picking him first now. Some of the absences have something to do with it, but Stevenson is gives them a really solid centerman. You add Jack Eichel to it. All of a sudden, you got a good middle of the ice. Our lead pass to Howden had a stick with the door by Carlson, rather hard. Defensive play there by Brody knocked it away. Now Coughlin plays it back in. Pass the midway point of the second period, still a 1 1 tie. Matthews. Game center ice and jumps in. Leaves it on Hutton. Matthews got knocked off strike. Shovels it back in front. That was knocked away by Yanmark. Back is Hall on it. To the Vegas zone. Hutton up for Stone. That's knocked down by Nylander who lost his stick. And now Tavares knocks the puck down. But as he does, not surprisingly, a hand pass called against Toronto. 1-1 the score here at Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN. Time now for Rep Our Home, brought to you by Molson Canadian. And tonight we take a look at 30-year-old Riley Smith, a Toronto native whose brother Brennan plays for Carolina. His brother Rory is a National Lacrosse League player. Played for the Toronto Nats under 16s more than a decade ago. He was drafted by Dallas back in 2009. He was acquired from Florida in one of the nine deals Vegas made out of the expansion draft for a fourth-round pick. So there was draft considerations that were given by Vegas to agree not to take certain players. They got Riley Smith as part of that package. They made a bundle on those deals, including getting William Carlson, who busted out for a 40-goal year for them. Yeah, that top line, that both Marcia so and Smith came from Florida. They pick up Carlson, and all of a sudden, they got a 30-goal scorer, and Marcia so Carlson had by far a career year, and Riley Smith is just such a steady player. Vegas has made the playoffs each of its first four years in the league on track to do it again They've gone at least to the conference final in three of those four years lost last year to the Montreal Canadiens Of course up to one of the series they cost a turnover by Mark Andre Fleury to turn that series Here's White Cloud with it Zach White Cloud works in holds feeds across and that shot taken by Daniel Miramanov as you mentioned was someone today was one of the three players inserted into the lineup with COVID issues striking Vegas as that play is moved in offside by Toronto Sheldon Keith looks up at a first period that was really good a second period that's not even close it's amazing how the game can change at the break everybody gets a chance to settle in on the Vegas side and they come out they're a little quicker a little sharper and Toronto's Lost all puck possession time in the first 10 minutes of this period. Eight and a half to go here in the second period. Leafs are in Arizona tomorrow night, then St. Louis on the weekend on Saturday. But as you, as you say, all games in pencil at this point. 
Now Kasha for Bunting, played back across, they score! Bunting to Matthews at the back of the net. Austin Matthews has struck again in the desert. This is a fantastic play by Michael Bunting. In Colorado the other night, he set up Alex Kerfoot on a two-on-one. He waited to the right time to give Kerfoot the puck. Now Kerfoot's got a clean shot and was able to beat Darcy Kemper. This time, this is terrific work by Kasha behind the net, the little short side pass. And you have to know that play is there before the puck comes to you. Bunting just slides it across to Matthews. He knows that Matthews is there. He's in position to take the Kasha play. And as Petrangelo's going to the backside of the net, Austin Matthews, who had two great chances, three great chances in that first period, gets a four-foot putt. Scott is 23rd, and it's 2-1 Toronto. First shot, 11 minutes for the Leafs. And Austin Matthews now has 16 goals in his last 14 games. He's three behind Leon Dreisaitl for the NHL lead. It all starts with, with Kasha's work. Now Jason Spezza calls Kasha a buzzsaw, and so the Kasha dumps this puck in, and when it gets pushed back behind the net, He's going to be the player that retrieves it, hits the back of the net, so he gets a bounce there. Both Vegas defensemen end up behind the net as that puck hits the backside of the net to Kasha first. And when he comes out the backside, now Petrangelo is behind the net. That opens up Matthews, but a slick heads-up play by Michael Bunting. And the Leafs have the lead back. Leading for the second time after the early goal by Nylander. Now brought in by Carlson. William Carlson flips it there. That shot fired by Smith. And the save made by Campbell. That's a pretty good pace he's got going there against Vegas, doesn't it? Eight goals in seven games now. And in the first period, he hit the goal post. He had two other great chances. So he could have more than the one he has already tonight. Twenty three goals on the year. Now here's Smith with it, or Stone with it. Plays that back. The long shot's through by Campbell. Stone looks for the rebound. That's knocked away by Kerfoot. Dermott for Sandine. And Sandine snaps that long pass to center ice to Kerfoot. He finds Mikheyev. Ilya Mikheyev works in and shoots. That was blocked by Dodonov. The pass at Stevenson in the back. Leaves keep it onside. Camp. Back for Kerfoot. To Davis Camp. Up for McCabe. And banked up by Coglin. Stevenson reaches for it. Had it poked away and got it up now by Dermott. Inside seven to go. Dermott fires that down as Leonard knocks it away. Coglin. Now for Anthony Stevenson. McNabb pokes at it. There's Hall across to Muzzin. Drops it back for Hall. Jake Muzzin for Hall. One of the few Leafs who has not contracted COVID so far this season. Talked about it this morning. Said just touching wood every day. As Simmons took part in the mirror man off. Loosened the sound of the goal. Spencer couldn't quite reach it. And brought out now by Hutt. Ben Hutt flips on a hit for Yanmark. He gets crunched there by Muzzin. And Hall has it back. For Simmons. Up ahead for Spezza. And Spezza bats it back down to the Vegas zone. Miramanov. Out to center ice. That was knocked down by Riley. Oh. TJ Brody swings back with 5.45 to go here. In the second period. It's a funny game sometimes, Ray. You don't play so bad in the first period, you wind up tied. You don't play bad in the second period, you wind up ahead. <laughs> and really, when you look at this period, it's really not been a very good period for Toronto at all. Yet the only goal, of course, is, is Matthews. And sometimes you just shake your head. And that's why you say you just got to stay with it. You never know where your opportunity is at one point. The Leafs had, or the Vegas had 11 straight shots on goal. Jack Campbell's terrific. He keeps him in his, in position to be tied. And one break later, it's 2-1 Toronto. Carlson for White Cloud. And White Cloud got squeezed there by Sandine. Back is Dermot to pick it up to Sandine. 
great pass. Baza hit to Kerfoot. Now it's Kerfoot in, and the stick looks to put behind as Michael Amadio came back on it. Long pass the other way. Janmark. It's tied up by German. Here's Tavares. Poke checked by Amadio. And brought in now by Ronberg. Thomas Ronberg, who's a third round pick of Vegas in that 2017 draft. After, after a World Junior Championship career. Yes. Four times, I believe, right? Yes, he did, yes. Sandine with it. But the three guys Vegas drafted in the first round that year, Cody Glass, Nick Suzuki, and Eric Brandstrom, have all been dealt. And Brandstrom in the Stone deal. Yeah. Suzuki in the Pacioretty deal. Glass went this summer, correct? Nashville. Yep. Oh, and there is Sandine stepping down up and dropped him at the leaf line. 2-1 the score as Austin Matthews strikes again. Matthews with 23 on the year, and the Leafs have a 2-1 lead. Well, Rasmus Sandin right before the break with a thundering hit of on Evgeny Dodonov and a part of Sandin's game that doesn't get noticed maybe as much as it should. But he, do, he does it with quick feet. He can close gaps and take away space. Dodonov thinks he's got another couple of feet and all of a sudden Sandin's reverse field. A little bit of a, not the same, but a little bit of a Nick Cronwall hitting style. Like when you'd see Cronwall out of his equipment, you're like, oh my gosh, he's not half as big as I thought he was. But man, did he lay some thunderous hits out usually backing into someone and Austin Matthews by the way has now scored in eight consecutive road games now how long ago does that span because this <laughs> is just their third road game since December the second yeah it's, it's a couple of months <laughs> is it a streak if you can't remember when it started there's gonna be a lot of that I think this year Streak started November 24th in Los Angeles. But who's got the Vegas net? And now picked up by Muzzin. McKayev. Lady McKayev digs up a loose putt. For Simmons. Wayne Simmons centers it. Bounce off the stick as Aramana got a stick on it. McKayev. Back at the point to Hall to Muzzin. Muzzin back for Hall. The little Simmons with that wide rebound score! And once again, right on it is Nick Ritchie. Ilya Mikheyev, rather, and Mikheyev jumped to the loose puck, and his goal-scoring exploits continue in just his fifth game of the year. Ilya Mikheyev now has his fourth goal. His first four games, he had 17 shots on goal. Here he jumps on this rebound of the Wayne Simmons shot. Simmons misses the net as he's come high into good position to take the pass from Justin Hall. And McKayev just heading to the net. Oh, would you look at that? Thank you very much. And McKayev's got four goals in five games and takes the rebound uh, off the miss of Simmons. And Vegas has to shake their head as they look and they go, wait a minute, now we're down two as the Leafs continue to play a style of hockey that is representative of one that can be successful later in the year. Yeah, you have a dead spot in the game. That's where your goalie helps you out. He's allowed to be good. Campbell was terrific early in the period. The Leafs don't give up a whole bunch, and now they're ahead by two. Inside three to go in the second period. Here's Nylander with it. Back for Riley, who pokes at it. Kolasar stepped into him. Nylander to Tavares. Tied up at center ice by Coughlin, and Riley plays it back. So Simmons and Hall draw the assist on the goal by Mikheyev. And that's a 3-1 game. So Simmons and Mikheyev start this play down low with some terrific forechecking, and as Simmons comes way back out to the top once they get possession of the puck, his shot right here will allow McKayev to now turn to the net. Good work rewarded with a nice bounce for Ilya McKayev. Neil Leonard chips that back down to the Vegas zone as Carlson plays it around. 
Now picked up by Brody. Has it back down the big zone. Leonard picked that away. Cash on the forecheck. Knocks it free for Bunting. Marcia so up ahead for Smith. And Riley Smith moves in, but his drop pass went back to center ice. Smith. Throws it across at Marcia so he collides there with Kasha. And Carlson taps it back to White Cloud. Sandine goes back. Sandine. Leaves it there for Matthews. Up ahead for Kasha. Bunting. For Kasha. Plays it back down. Petrangelo goes back. Back up for White Cloud. Swings it back to Petrangelo. In the second year, that seven year deal he signed after leaving St. Louis. Now punting is Stevenson. Chandler Stevenson around Muzzin. Runs that back. Stevenson got us up his own pass. Flips it back in the corner. Hard shot by Dodonov. And the save is made by Campbell. Is it time for a change? Ozempic is now covered across Canada by all public and most private plans. Ask your doctor or visit ozempic.ca to learn more. The Donoff with a shot a moment ago, then that shot earlier from Sandine Ray. Well, you can see the Donoff thinks he's got 10, 15 feet to get into the zone, but as he's reading that and turning, Sandine's already turned the other way. He's made his read defensively, and what looked like space turned out to be a brick wall. Now the KF moves in on Coglin. Has picked up one game over the period. Final minute now, the period camp. Play the down on the KF. He got tangled up in the corner. Camp plays it back in. I think that's going to be a penalty yeah. on Kerfoot. Yeah, high sticking call. We'll send Kerfoot off in Vegas. It's a late power play here in the second period. Over here, other penalty box. Final, number 15. Minor penalty for high sticking. The battle with McNabb here, and there's the penalty. It's that last shot, the little bit of a cross check to the back of the helmet. And Vegas would score a power play goal in the first period, had a really ineffective power play here in the second. They'll get a late one here in period two. And a passive aggressive Sheldon Keefe simply points at the scoreboard. Yeah, he wants them to take a look at the replay, but the replay would probably result in the same penalty. Marsha so knocks down the clearing attempt. That means you're golden. Josh, you got to stick on it again. Riley trying to clear it out. And now back of the line, knocked down by Petrangelo. Now a chance for. Smith, he rattled that high. And picked out now by Riley. Morgan Riley flips that back out of the Vegas zone, skipped it wide. And Petrangelo back to pick it up. A penalty kill that could straddle the second intermission for Toronto. As Petrangelo plays it down. Ten seconds to go in the period. Petrangelo rings it around. How rink wide to Marcheseau. Now Petrangelo gets tied up by Mikheyev. And Vegas will have a minute and eight seconds of power play time to carry over into the third period. Leafs get two, Matthews and Mikheyev, a 3-1 lead, as we said here to James Duthie, in our second intermission. Cord, we will talk about both of those goal scorers with Darren Drager, Jeff O'Neill, and Dave Poulin. Time now for your EA Sports X Factor Performer of the Game. Quiet first period for Jack Campbell, a terrific second period. What really impressed me most for Campbell is how many shots hit him right in the chest. He seemed to be in perfect control. He was in position to make the stops that he had to make. And when he had to be spectacular, he was able to do that too. This is a brilliant reaction save on Jonathan Marcheseau as William Carlson passed out the short side. Marcheseau won times that Campbell turned that away too. Shots were 14 to 6 Vegas in that second period. At one point, the Leafs went 11 minutes without a shot, and the first shot they got was the goal by Austin Matthews. Well, a true one number one goalie performance again by Campbell. He comes off that brilliant performance where he said he didn't play very well in Colorado, but he had 50 shots, and the Leafs got run over in the third period. And 
tonight a really quiet start to that second period. Campbell kept them in it and gave them the chance to get this lead. So here you have a third period lead once again. A lot of talk about what happened out of the Colorado game on Saturday night. Leafs suffered their first loss of any kind when leading after two periods, the OT loss to the Avalanche. And they gave up over 20 shots, I believe 22 shots in that third period as Colorado really just turned it loose. Now, far different team here for Vegas to play against than Colorado. But the, the key for the Leafs is to be aggressive, continue to try and be aggressive as they reset the clock here. And Vegas, as you see, will have over a minute of power play time to try and have the lead. Now it's Kerfoot off for high sticking, but the Leafs win the face off and send it back down to the Vegas zone. Vegas led the league in goals by defenseman last year. They're number two this year. Ray, they've got 450 shots from D-men so far this year. That's more than 200 more than the Leafs have from their back end. Well, built differently, of course, and you know, a terrific number of goals out of their lineup, including seven for Shea Theodore. Alec Martinez has got four, but across the board, they can score from the blue line. Of course, they trail Colorado as... Now Colorado's got he's got that cheat code of Kale McCall. He's got 16, including another beauty tonight. Caprangelo plays it back in for Dodonov. Muzzin gets to that. Knocked down by Stone. Crossy goes to Petrangelo. Alex Petrangelo winds that back to Stevenson. In for Petrangelo. Back down to Stone. Mark Stone tied up by Muzzin. Kasha can't clear it out. Now Petrangelo slaps it back across, and that shot fired high and wide by Marcheseau. All that work to get the puck back, Marcheseau misses the net, and that'll essentially kill most of this remaining minute of the power play. Vegas has four wins this year when trailing after two periods among the league leaders in that category. And that pass is knocked down by Carlson. Poked away and knocked out by McKayev. Out of the box comes Kerfoot. And the puck bouncing at center ice. Moved in by Matthews. Kerfoot had to tag back up to get onside. Played in by Yanmark. And back goes Morgan Riley for it. Tied up by Riley Smith. But loose it for Carlson. A backhand shot scores. William Carlson a minute and a half into the third period. And Vegas is back within one. similar from Austin Matthews goal in that this play starts below the goal line a, a little chip and chase nice work here by Riley Smith to keep this puck alive and in between Kerfoot and Riley Smith kicks this puck out with his right foot what a nifty nimble play as he kicks it out the Leafs can't control the puck and Carlson walks in uncovered just his fifth of the season and it's 3-2 Came in with one goal, Ray, in his last nine games. Remember that breakout year we talked about for Vegas? His first year with the Golden Knights, he had 43 goals. His previous career best was nine. Of the most incredible things of that first year, that was one of them. The Carlson went from a single-digit goal total to over 40. Here's the chip and chase play. Good work by Smith to get into the, into the play. And that, as Kerfoot goes to help, Smith just kicks this out from below the goal line. And Carlson's able to get his backhand around the left foot of Jack Campbell, and it's 3-2. Now Leonard up to play it. At least won the first meeting, 4-0 in Toronto in early November. And that bouncing puck is knocked down at center ice by Yanmark. Played back in by Nylander, who opened the scoring for Toronto. Kolasar, who tied the game in the first period, had it knocked down. Now Yanmark looks ahead. Settled down the center ice by Tavares, who takes that return pass, and John Tavares swings away from Amadio. And Tavares chips it back out of the Vegas zone. Score! Out of his reach, as Muzzin goes back for it to Spezza. Spezza's lead pass for Clifford missed, and Leonard plays it back around. Back is Justin Hall for it. Crossy goes to Muzzin. Muzzin lead feed for Clifford. Chips it by Hunt. 
And now the puck bounces into the Vegas bench and play is called. Beat the hockey players redefining the game. Watch Breaking Ice, presented by Uninterrupted Canada and EA Sports with Xbox at youtube.com slash uninterrupted. I love those forwards making a pretty hefty amount of money. William Carlson is too. And he's able to get the Knights to with, within one, but it will be really interesting to see how Kelly McCrimmon and George McPhee navigate who they have to move off of this roster to make everybody fit. Carlson's in the third year of an eight-year extension, making just under six million a year. Riley Smith is also a guy who's potentially one that could a contract could be moved. Of course, they also have the opportunity, I guess, to use the long-term injury to acquire a contract of somebody that's not going to play. You're basically trying to fit more money than you should fit in there, and there's all kinds of creative ways to try and do it. And there are Smith and Carlson who, co who combine on that last Vegas goal. Two guys that Vegas got because they didn't want, their, their teams didn't want Vegas to select someone else. It's turned out pretty well for, for, for Vegas. Two really solid players. Now, Riley Smith had an awesome start to the season. He's got just one goal in his last 16 games, but when the Knights were, the Golden Knights were decimated early, Smith was by far their most consistent forward. We mentioned before that Vegas made nine deals prior to the expansion draft, draft consideration deals to gain assets to not take specific players. Seattle did not get the same kind of benefit because most teams saw what Vegas did and said no thanks. And at one point, I, I believe Vegas selected 11 defensemen in the draft and then they started trading them like candy uh, and ended up with more draft picks. They did a masterful job. Now back at the point, kept alive. As Hall swats at that, that's batted down by Muzzin. Bunting chops at it. White Cloud keeps it alive. Kasha. A clearing attempt knocked down by Carlson. Now Petrangelo works in, trying to shoot. That was blocked by Muzzin. Bunting back forth. Four and a half gone here in the third period. Leafs lead 3-2. Matthews. The pass goes off a stick. And Stevenson plays it back down to the Leaf zone. Scooped up by Hall. Justin Hall fires it back down to the Vegas end. Leonard with a rolling puck plays it back around. Kerfoot got a stick on it, but as he did, he played with a high stick. And play is called. And the game's lost a little zip here as the Leafs try to check their way into a little more solid portion of the game. Just 15 shots on goal for Toronto in this game as they had gone such a long stretch without anything in the second period. And it's just not the way they would like to play this game in a kind of play the game in quick stand. They still want to skate. They still want to pressure a Vegas team that their defense is shorthanded, missing very key players, and including Shea Theodore, who is by far their most mobile guy back there. The William Carlson goal, Ray, is the only shot for either team in this period. And now icing call against Toronto. Well, that's not riveting hockey, is it? Five minutes in and we've had one shot. It's funny when you play somebody that can attack, can get out on the rush, you you guard against that a little bit. Your, your transition game's maybe not as sharp, and the Leafs have lost their edge in this game, though, I think is really the biggest issue. They were crisp and sharp when they came out in the first period. They had plenty of opportunities to stretch the game out. Matthews in particular with three great chances that one hit the goal post, one robbed by Leonard, and then they've just flattened out from there. After the icing call against Vegas, McNabb plays it around for Petrangelo. Chip back to center ice and scooped up by Dermot. Vegas can start a change now. Here's Petrangelo with it. Back around to McNabb. In comes Chandler Stevenson. Stevenson tied up by Brody, has it back. Round for Dodano. Again, Dodano picked up from Ottawa. Had a decent year for Vegas. He slowed down, but he has nine goals on the year. 
Another guy at five plus. And the Donov waits for that pass, moves around Riley. The Donov peels back, drops it back for White Cloud. A shot that deflects wide. Now White Cloud calling for it again. Holds at the point, shoots again, it goes off a leg and bounces right to Kerfoot. Looks ahead for Nylander and White Cloud has to race back. Nylander taken down by White Cloud. Puck loose in the corner for Tavares. Feeds across. Hole and a shot. Letter the same. And the rebound knocked down. And played away by Howden. Hall. Winds in. Drops it back to Clifford. In comes Clifford with a shot. Ripped that wide. Muzzin back at the point. Jake Muzzin shoots it wide again. Hall picks it up. Hall has a look. Takes a bump from Stevenson. Richie in there as well. Chipped across by Marcia so. Now brought in by the big defenseman. You know, Manoff save made by Jack Campbell. The rebound as well. And Mira Manoff jumped up. And here is the big man, number 42 for Vegas. Showed some good speed driving that puck out wide to create a really good scoring chance. Sandine to the point, but not out. McNabb plays it back in. Chipping for Ronnie Smith. Marshall's on reaching 40. Tap that wide. Here's Smith back on. Smith plays it back for Hutton. Vegas keeps the pressure up. Here is Carlson. Plays that back to Hutton. Flips that back in the corner. Picked up by McKayev. McKayev up for Simmons. And Wayne Simmons gains the line and moves in. Simmons peels back. McKayev. McKayev trying to dig that free. Picked up by Yanmark. And Matias Yanmark moves in with Amadio. That lead pass knocked away. Amadio drops it back. Coglin a long shot. That's blocked in front by Brody. He'll bank it out. Now a race for it. Matthews moving in on McNabb. Nate Pirouette in the corner. Coglin with it. And Coglin, lead pass for Kolasar. Got poke checked at center ice by Bunting. And Bunting drops it back for Riley. Kasha looks at for Matthews. That was chopped down by McNabb. And Petrangelo rings it around for Ronder. <laughs> Nylander. For Muzzin. Knocked down by Nylander. And Jake Muzzin back with it. President for Nylander with a full head of steam. Kerfoot trying to play it back across. That was poked away by Howden. Bouncing puck, poked at by Lecision, and White Cloud has it back. And back goes Hall to gather it up. Tavares winds his way in. White Cloud took it off the puck. Now loose in the corner for Kerfoot. This is Richie on with Tavares and Kerfoot. And Richie pokes it back for Riley. Brody back down to the Vegas line. Petrangelo stepped in front of that. Alex Petrangelo swings that rink wide, jumping on his Hutton. Then Hutton moves in. Has with Riley the loose puck in front. Brody knocked that away. Now Clifford pokes it free. Angles in with Miramanov. And a penalty coming now. A tripping call is going to go against Toronto as Vegas goes back to the power play. And Robin Leonard haven't had a lot to do, but have been forced into a couple of pretty good saves after the game was at 3-2. Justin Hall walked in, nice little feed from Tavares, and here's Miramanov gets outside of Clifford and Muzzin, but Campbell has to make the save. Vegas at 3-2 is going to go on the power play again as Kyle Clifford gets called for tripping. And doesn't much, much like the call. So Vegas back to the power play. Midway through this third period. Camp for the faceoff against Carlson. Wins that back. Petrangelo. Down to Carlson. Plays it back to Petrangelo. Across he goes. And a quick shot there by Marcia So. The save made by Campbell. I think what's most impressed me about Jack Campbell's fantastic season is how he's become more and more calm, 
and steady in the net. The puck hits him and sticks to him. He doesn't have to move and make some crazy reactive save. While he does have those acrobatic saves still in the toolkit, he doesn't he doesn't seem to need it as much anymore. That's a, a sign of just kind of understanding his game better, a little tighter in his positioning, and one more reason for a terrific year. Played back down to the Vegas zone. Leafs power play goal against in the first period by Kolasar was the first power play goal the Leafs have allowed in the last six games, and that was Steele. Chance shorthanded for Kasha. Busting it alone, Kasha! Stopped by Leonard. Rebound goes to Camp. So Robin Leonard, a big stop on the Vegas power play. Camp was checking around. He had all kinds of time to make the move he wanted. And I don't think he, or rather, Kasha had all kinds of time to make that move. And I, I don't think he really made the move as crisply as he would have liked. Gave, gave Leonard too much time to react. Paul. Oh. Lead pass for Kerfoot, who taps it back. And now, do we have too many men called against Toronto as Brody came on and played that puck? At least maybe down two men here for 55 seconds. Toronto, defense minor penalty. Too many men on the ice. Here's the turnovers. Marcia so burps this one up. Kosh has got all kinds of time. He shoulder checks, still good. And he doesn't quite get that puck up high enough around Robin Leonard, who makes the pad safe. A glorious opportunity blocker pad stop for for Leonard and then the Leafs get confused over at their bench and Riley was halfway into the bench Brody was coming out and time out time out Vegas a, fi a five on three power play here might be their best chance so Pete DeBoer takes a timeout to make sure he gets the people he wants on the ice rested Vegas has had Three five-on-three chances this year for three minutes and 12 seconds. They've scored once on the two-man advantage. So Marcia Soltz is going to try and walk around Kasha in the middle of the ice. Kasha looks once. Now he checks his other side to make sure now I'm totally clear, and he just goes to the backhand. Doesn't really sell the shot enough. You've got to, if you're going to make that deke, he can sell that to the upper glove or lower to the glove side more, harder on Leonard, try and get him to bite. And that gives you a, maybe another foot on the backhand side when you go around. So now a five on three for Vegas for 55 seconds. It'll all go through this man, Alex Petrangelo. All of the times they miss Max Patch already, I mean, this would be one of them. He'd be standing at the top of that right face off circle and. A tremendous year, Pacioretty's had 12 goals in just 16 games. Scramble draw, controlled by Toronto for the moment. Now back to the point is Marcheseau. Across to Petrangelo, to Marcheseau. In for Stone. Stone winds his way in. Drops it across to Marcheseau. Back for Petrangelo. He just chewed 20 seconds, haven't even come close to shooting it. Stevenson back with Petrangelo a shot. He ripped that wide. Marcheseau back with it. Jonathan Marcheseau, 20 seconds to go in the first Vegas penalty. Marcheseau feeds it back for Petrangelo. Back for Marcheseau. Holds. And that pass knocked away by Brody. Stone back for Marcheseau to Petrangelo. Rocks and shoots, scores. Petrangelo with six seconds to go on the first penalty has tied the game with a power play goal. Uh, costly, too many men on the ice penalty burns the Leafs. After a pretty timid five on three, only one shot attempt. It was a Petrangelo slapper earlier on. He's going to make a really patient play here as he drags this around Morgan Riley. Riley's out to block the shot, but Petrangelo will fake it and pull it into his feet. That opens up the shot link. Great screen from William Carlson, and Petrangelo, Petrangelo can celebrate his sixth of the season. Vegas with two power play goals for their 24th rated power play in the game tonight. And still the man advantage for a minute and 12 seconds as the first penalty had not yet expired. And Petrangelo already upwards of 25 minutes stays on the ice here. Well, with Shea Theodore out, the other part of their tower of power on defense, you've got Petrangelo playing monster minutes here tonight. They've got five days off after this. 
their games in Edmonton and Calgary have been postponed as Petrangelo works it back in. And that was knocked away from Kolasar. Stevenson with it. Chandler Stevenson lost the puck to Muzzin, but they gather it back up. Petrangelo at the point. Walks it and shoots. Fired that wide. Stone back on it. Mark Stone centering pass. Picked off and sent ahead by McKayev. Kerfoot winds his way in. Alex Kerfoot now. One on four. Drops it back. Brody jumps into the rush. And Brody fires that wide. William Carlson. Stepped around Kasha. Final seconds now. The power play back at the point. Hard shot by Coughlin. Rebound. And Carlson swatted at that. Jack Campbell knocked it away. And the Leafs clear it out. But the damage is done. Vegas scores in the five on three. And it's a three three tie here. With under seven to go in the third period. Nylander takes the return pass from Matthews. So Matthews, Tavares, and Nylander after the penalty kill for Toronto. Carlson passes it center ice from so fires it down. And Campbell back with it. That pass went off the side of the goal, but gathered back up. Moved ahead by Bruni. And now icing called against the Leafs. Now over 26 and a half minutes for Alex Petrangelo. He missed a shot earlier in the power play. That pass to Marchessault was too tight to his feet, so he couldn't shoot the one-timer. Stone retrieves it, and that fake just pulls Riley out of the shooting lane. Petrangelo's wrister then zips by Jack Campbell for a 3-3 game. 27th goal of the year by a Colorado professional. That loose puck is back in front, and Amadio has it knocked away. And the Leafs' net is knocked off its pegs. 6-17 to go in the third period. 3-3 time between the Leafs and Golden Knights. It's complicated, but you know what's not? Repping Canada's game with a Canadian beer. Not baseball's beer, not America's beer, our beer. Hockey's beer. Hockey is at a crossroad. Too few get the chance to feel its greatness. But not anymore. Play just underway here in Vegas in a 3-3 tie. We mentioned Vegas now with its 27th goal by a defenseman. Second league to the Colorado Avalanche. You had 37 coming into tonight. Got at least one more for Kale McCarr as Kolosar moves in. Vegas led the league in goals by defenseman last year. Long shot by McNabb goes off the, off the stick of Matthews. Back at the point, Hutton takes that return pass and shoots Campbell, save rebound, loose in front. That rolled away from Amadio. McNabb back with it, five and a half to go in the third. Muzzin. Up ahead for Tavares on the back end, plays it back down to the Vegas zone, picked up there by Hutton. Here's Hutton with it. Fires it back down to the leaf zone. Locked away by Campbell. Picked up by Riley. Morgan Riley. Game sent Rice and flips it back down to the Vegas zone. Petrangelo back out there. Kicked up by Romberg, who, as you mentioned, Ray, played four World Juniors for Denmark. Here's Riley with it. Riley drops it back for McKeon to Riley. Morgan Riley, a wrist shot that bounces back to the corner. Picked up now by Coglin. Dylan Coglin threads that pass and Howden falls. And Dermott plays it back around for Brody. To Simmons. Wayne Simmons moves in, banks it off the inboards. Leonard couldn't reach it. And Petrangelo has the puck back for Vegas. Up for Stevenson. Golden Knights are changing. Stevenson trying to drop that back for Stone. And Kerfoot picks it off. And now a lead pass missed. Ladies and gentlemen, Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN is brought to you by Molson Canadian. Our beer, hockey's beer. Is that 409 for him? I don't know. I'm not counting. <laughs> Someone's got 409 and someone else has got 408. Well, we'll have to go back and look. Way to go, Jeff. Really happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Face off one back to me. <laughs> Did Pavelski go by this weekend, too? Oh, if he hasn't, he's, you know... 
I'm not sure. He keeps scoring, though. I, I'm, not, I'm not. Those guys aren't stopping, Rand. No, no. I, there's, I'm not holding out much hope there. I got to be honest with you. McDam a long shot. Rip that wide. Stevenson digs it free. Inside four to go in the third period. Chandler Stevenson. Flips it back in deep, looking for Stone. Sandine stepped in front of that. Kerfoot. Whips it back across, and McNabb couldn't hold the line. Delayed offside called against the Golden Knights. 3-3 the score here late in the third. Left is Vegas President George McPhee. On the right is GM Kelly McCrimmon. They have not been afraid to take some swings at the plate. And today, Jack Eichel was on the ice for the first time in Vegas wearing the red sweater. Had a big hand for the fans and attention. Of course, the attendance rather. Right Acquired for the Buffalo Sabres and that blockbuster deal underwent disc replacement surgery. And so Eichel is in, but it'll be a while before he plays. But the question is going to be for Vegas how you get 90 million beans in an 82 million bean jar. Well, and it'll depend on when some of the players are back from injury. Right. You know, Pacioretty's still out for a while. We get the guys in COVID, which really aren't going to be much of a factor, I, I would assume, once they, they're ready to play. But Alec Martinez has, has been out since November the 11th. Suffered a nasty facial cut from a skate. And now icing call against the Golden Knights. So we mentioned these guys have not been afraid to be aggressive, but here are the big money salaries they've got. Eichel at 10 million, Stone, Petrangelo, both over eight, Pacioretty at seven, and you start moving down the list. You mentioned that Eichel's on LTI, Pacioretty's on your reserve, Martinez on LTI. That gives him a little breathing room for now, but, but eventually, you know, all things being equal and they get people back healthy, you're going to have to make a, a tough decision or two. So part of it will be they'll talk to Pete DeBoer, how can we set up the lineup the best way? The other part will be who do we have a market for for some of the co for a potential move with one of the contracts or would you consider not playing Eichel until the playoffs it's a lot to ask a guy who hasn't played basically in two years to join the team and get going in the Stanley Cup playoffs so you could do it in Tampa to defeat a Kucherov there's no cap of the playoffs hadn't really thought of that I I guess so but Eichel needs to play at right. some time it, it, a little different with Kucherov, I would I would think. Dr. Kolasar block rebound, and Campbell turns that away. Back in the point, another hard shot, and Jack Campbell makes the glove save. 2.38 to go in the third, still a 3-3 tie. Continues Friday as the Raptors head to Detroit to take on the Pistons. Coverage is underway at 7 Eastern on TSN. Raptors lost by four to Phoenix tonight. And here, it's a 3-3 tie with just over two and a half to go in the third period. Leafs haven't really tested Leonard much. He stopped the third period breakaway by Andre Kasha. It might have salted the game away shorthanded right before the Leafs took the too many men on the ice penalty. Dodonov trying to dig it free. Stone in there as well. Now picked up by Kasha, along with Bunting. And Kasha plays it back down to the Vegas zone. White Cloud back to pick it up for Petrangelo. A night like tonight, you realize why Vegas was so hot to get Petrangelo. And sacrificed so much in terms of how move players out to do it. 29 minutes now for Petrangelo and counting. In regulation. And he finds Stone. Stone tied up by Bunting. And Muzzin drops it back to Hall. Leafs changing now as Hall swings back. Carlson almost batted that down. Brody to center ice, chipped in by Simmons. And Leonard plays it high off the glass. It bounces out. Leafs will play in Arizona tomorrow night. Peter Morazic scheduled the starting goal for the Leafs. Last time he played was December the 11th. But as the games pile up here in late January, and as you mentioned, Gord, into the 
into the break in February. The plan was to have two guys that are ready to go. Morazic hasn't been ready to go, and so Campbell's run the ball. But they're going to need both of them to certainly get through that month. Off the face off. Kerfoot couldn't quite reach it. Picked up now by McNabb. Riley Smith, the center ice, chipped ahead to Carlson. Moving it on Brody, William Carlson. Stymied by the lead D-man. Now picked up by Marshall. So a centering pass for Smith, turned away by Campbell. Coglin plays it back down to Smith. And Riley Smith trying to dig it free once more. Riley stepped into him. Laid back around by Marshall. So Coglin left it there. Brennan one. And to Mars. One to go in the Finds period. Kerfoot. Inside a minute to go now in the third period. Back goes McNabb. Up for Marcheseau. Chops it back to center ice. Knocked down by Hall. And Muzzin back with it. Jake Muzzin fires it back down. Petrangelo. There's it by Muzzin and back down as Hall goes back. Icing call. 35.8 seconds left in regulation. Marcia So Smith and Carlson have played together for the better part of four years and here Marcia So finds Smith in the midst of Kerfoot and Tavares a little short side pass and again Campbell reads the play and turns it aside face off one by Matthews back to Muzzin Muzzin shot was blocked by Amadio Hall had it knocked away a race for it now Amadio Hustles in there, but icing called against the Golden Knights. 22.6 seconds left in the third period. So Vegas halfway through a change is stuck with the same players out on the ice here. The Leafs are able to get Morgan Riley out on the ice. And Nylander jumps out for coming off the wall if Matthews can win this draw here against Keegan Colasar. Leafs have done a shot now in nine minutes in the third period. Loose in the corner. Kasha trying to dig it free. Now back at center ice. Kicked ahead by Amadio. Time winding down here in the period. Brody goes back for Riley. All right, here trying to find Kasha. Here's Petrangelo with it. And his night is going to get at least five minutes longer as this game will go to overtime even at three. So at least go to overtime for the second straight game. They were defeated by Colorado on Saturday night. On the goal by Devon Taves. And now Jack Campbell and company going past 60 again. After Nylander and Kolasar had traded goals in the first period, the Leafs take a 3-1 lead. Michael Bunting to Austin Matthews, goal 23. And Ilya Mikheyev takes a Wayne Simmons shot off the end boards to make it 3-1 Toronto, entering the third period. A nifty play from Riley Smith behind the net as he kicks it out to William Carlson. Now it's 3-2. And after a too many men on the ice penalty made it a five on three for the Vegas Golden Knights for 55 seconds. Right at the end of it, Alex Petrangelo on the way to a 29 and a half minute regular time effort ties the game at three. Matthews and Keith having a conversation at the Leaf bench. By the way, Jeff Carter scored again. He's got 410. Ah, it's over. <laughs> now he's tied with Ray Bork. <laughs> Someone else's problem. Yeah. Now. <laughs> so Nylander, Riley, and Matthews talking over. You want to bet Petrangelo's on the ice? Never a bad guess. <laughs> Leafs are three and two in overtime this year. They've been in one shootout. They lost that when Vegas is one and one overtime, but three and zero in shootouts. The other night, the Leafs in overtime after kind of a similar situation in Colorado. They give up the overtime goal to Devon Taves. And there's number seven on the Vegas blue line. Lead pass to Stone. Mark Stone drops it off. 
Now Chandler Stevenson tied up by Morgan Riley. And back comes Keenan to help out. Leafs gain possession. Away comes Matthews. Along with Riley and Nylander, the trailer. Matthew pops it back across to Morgan Riley moving in. That's once again taken away by Stone. Most forwards get going backwards. It's not really comfortable, but Stone's so good with his stick. That time he turned his skates to prevent the angle and was able to steal the puck. Takes the lead pass from Petrangelo. Now in with Carlson. Stone needs a change. As White Cloud comes on and Stone lays it back for him. William Nylander, by the way, tied for the league lead with two overtime goals this year. Chance now for Riley Smith busting in. Campbell knocks it away. Still loose behind the goal. Gathered back up by Sandine. Rasmus Sandine plays it back for Kerfoot. Minute gone in the overtime. Kerfoot steps around Carlson. Slides it back across to Sandine, moving in with Tavares. Rasmus Sandine in on Riley Smith. Sandine drops it back to Tavares. John Tavares. Pivots back in the corner. Holds. Drops it back. Sharp angle shot. Matthews rebound. And Leonard turns that away as well. Matthews joins the attack. Now picked up by Carlson. Leads for Riley Smith. He needs a change. And Smith buys some time as three Leafs converge on him. Smith drops it back to Petrangelo. Alex Petrangelo. Topping 30 minutes now. Drops it off to Dodonov. And getting the dot off. In across the line. Drops it back for Marcheseau. He's tied up in the corner by Tavares. Works it free. John Tavares pokes at it. And sends that to the line and out. Petrangelo. Moves around Kasha. Jumps it across the line. Alex Petrangelo in on Brody. Petrangelo. Back to Marcheseau. In for Petrangelo. Being shot there by Kasha. Petrangelo. Moves back down to the Vegas zone. Two and a half remaining in OT. Marcheseau spins that back for Stevenson as Vegas completes the chain. Now Stevenson snaps that pass ahead for Stone. In comes Stone and a great battle there with Morgan Riley. And Riley wins the battle for the puck. And Morgan Riley moves ahead with Nylander. Kasha goes off on a change as Riley works in. Brings it back around, and Ilmikheyev had jumped on, and Mikheyev drops it back for Nylander. Nylander gains the Vegas line. Moves around Stevenson. Nylander still with it. Nylander drops that back, takes the return pass, and was tied up there by Stevenson. Now fans of the pass, but Nylander gathers it back up. And that pass kept in by Sandine. Stone thought it was offside, but play continues. Sandine walks in, waits and shoots. He fired that wide. Now McCann back around to Matthews. Austin Matthews with one goal in the game already. Plays it down to Sandine. Matthews takes the return pass. Works around Ben Hutton. Matthews sends it back in. McCann holds and shoots. He fired that high and wide. Picked up by Hutton. Stevenson with it. And Chandler Stevenson has it back. A minute to go now in overtime. Right in one. One to go in overtime. And Hutton gathers it back up. Hutton to Carlson. Moves in on Matthews. Carlson in, shoots. And have to flex up and out of play with 45 seconds to go in overtime. Not really any sustained attack. Nobody in position to tire out there, catch tired guys on the ice. A little pick play with Sandine is going to allow Matthews to come off the bench to take that little drop feed from Tavares. And really the only Leaf scoring chances, he comes off the wing and Robin Leonard turns it aside. Matthews in the face off, back to Riley. Up for Austin Matthews. In on Petrangelo. And Petrangelo stays with him. Matthews tries to win the puck back. Now picked up by Yanmark to Petrangelo. And Leonard back with it as time winds down here in overtime. Yanmark. 
Tied up by Tavares. Pokes it ahead for Petrangelo. And that's knocked away by Nylander. A race for it now. Tavares. Tangles it with Yanmark. Dave, or Yanmark falls. Time winding down here. OT. Marshall so in. Shoots. And Campbell gets a piece of that to knock it wide. And this game will go to a shootout. Even at three on Molson King. Leafs hockey on TSN. It's a shootout between the Maple Leafs and the Golden Knights. The Leafs lost their only shootout of the year in Minnesota in December. And here's a get it done off the first shooter for the Golden Knights. And on Campbell, he's turned away. Donov, his third attempt of the year, now one for three. Shooting for Toronto, number 19. Campbell's able to use his skating ability to stay out high and patiently go back to turn away. The Donoff who tries to go up over the pad, the puck flips up on him. And now Jason Spezza, the first shooter for Toronto. His first attempt of the year. Spezza in on Leonard. Turned away. Spezza wants to go five hole on Leonard. He tries to go to his forehand to open him up, but Leonard shuts it right down to make the stop. Stevenson, the second shooter, 0 for 1 of the year for the Golden Knights. Stevenson in, stopped by Campbell. Well, oh, that's a quick release, too. He wanted to go up over top of Campbell's left catching hand, and Campbell's going to get around his bicep area on this one as, Cam as Stevenson just quickly delivers this, and Campbell makes the stop. Next shooter for Toronto, Austin Matthews, who scored in his only attempt this year. He has a goal in the game tonight. In comes Matthews on Leonard. Leonard uses his size here as he doesn't get very far outside of the crease. Now he's back almost to the goal line, yet is able to spread out as Matthews wants to go up over the blocker. And like the first Vegas shot, doesn't get much on it as it flips up on him, and the goaltender makes the save. Marks is so one for three in shootout attempts this year. He loves to shoot the puck. He's got a big right curve, go top glove. And he comes, stopped by Campbell. Oh, good read by Campbell, man. That's athletic right there. As Marcia, so I think, is coming off the left wing and going to go right up under the bar, but he wants to open up Campbell. There's the fake, and then try and go through the legs. And now William Nylander can win it for Toronto. I'm always fascinated. He scored in the first period on the breakaway on one move. What do you do here? Works and scores! William Nylander fires it by Leonard. And the man who opened the scoring closes the game with a shootout winner as the Leafs take it 4-3. to three. Both breakaways, he goes to the forehand. In the first period, he held it and went around the left toe of Robin Leonard. This time, he fakes it and then elevates it over the glove of Robin Leonard. And the Leafs, the behind another strong Jack Campbell goaltending performance as this puck just ticks off the glove of Leonard. The Leafs come away with a 4-3 shootout win and their first shootout victory of the season jack campbell gets the win that's a new season high for him of 18 on the year as the leafs win it by a final score of 4-3 and head to arizona right away here are tonight's molson three stars and star number one for the leafs with goals now in eight consecutive road games at star number two rather is austin matthews star number one is alex petrangelo who had the Goal in the third period and logged over 30 minutes of ice time. Jack Campbell makes 31 saves for the win for Toronto. Next stop for us tomorrow night from Arizona. It's the Leafs and the Coyotes. Our coverage starts at 9.30 Eastern time on TSN. For Ray Ferraro, all of us at TSN, I'm Gordon Miller. Thanks for tuning in to Middleton Canadian Leafs Hockey. Now stand by for SportsCenter with Jermaine Franklin and Kara Wagland.